Tonight, investigators say they have a great new lead in the search for Flight 370. More signals were picked up yesterday in the southern Indian Ocean, weaker and briefer than the others that were picked up over the weekend. We have more now from Seth Dome. The first of the two new signals detected by the Ocean Shield lasted for 5 minutes, 32 seconds. The second, 7 minutes. Angus Houston is coordinating the search. I believe we are searching in the right area, but we need to visually identify aircraft wreckage before we can confirm with certainty that this is the final resting place of MH370. Today, Australia's Defence Ministry released computer-enhanced audio of the pings. Investigators said that the flight recorders are almost at the end of their battery life and the signals were weaker, but that it should still help narrow the search. In the race against time, planes began using parachutes to drop sonar buoys near where the signals were last heard. Each buoy dangles a hydrophone, an underwater listening device, to help pinpoint the signals. The ocean shield is working in water that is 15,000 feet deep in places. At that depth, the ocean floor is covered with silt many feet deep. That could complicate the search because the silt on the bottom of the ocean can be very thick and things disappear into it and it makes a visual search underwater uh, very difficult. Scott, for as slow and painstaking as this search is using the towed pinger locator, it is still six times faster than it would be to launch that underwater submersible and search that way. That operates at a walking pace. The very latest on the search on CBS this morning. Seth, thank you very much.